Salesforce introduction. Now, Salesforce is a number one CRM in the world from the last 23 years. And Salesforce CRM is a basically, it's a cloud-based CRM. And initially, the Salesforce is found by the 1999, by the Mark Benioff in 1999. And Salesforce is a, it's in headquarter in San Francisco, United States of America. So initially it is started by the Mark Benioff in 1999 and it started in the United States of America. Now we said that Salesforce is a cloud-based CRM. Now what is the cloud here? Cloud is nothing but it's a storage mechanism. Cloud is nothing but storage mechanism to store the data in cloud vendors. Vendor service. Now here, cloud is nothing but storing mechanism and it to store the data in cloud vendor server. Now in this case, cloud vendor. Cloud vendor is nothing but who provides the cloud services. They are called as a cloud vendors. And like a Google, they are providing the GCP for storage. They are providing the GCP for storage. Amazon. Amazon is providing the AWS for storage. So GCP is a cloud. AWS is a cloud. Salesforce is providing Salesforce, which is contains a storage plus CRM application. So Salesforce is a cloud-based CRM. Now CRM is stands for Customer Relationship Management. Now, CRM is used to store the customer information at one place. We are capturing the customer information from the different places, but ultimately we are storing into the one place, which is in the cloud. Now, like a customer details, we are capturing the customer details, like name, phone number, address, birth date, anniversary date. So these are the customer details we are capturing it. And then transaction details. Transaction detail is nothing but a purchase from the day one till date. Now, what did the customer has purchased it? Now, in the Walmart, what are the customers we are getting it from? What are the customers we are daily visiting to the store if you wanted to capture? So there are a few members who are coming like alternate days or almost daily, at least one hour they will visit to the Walmart. And what did they purchase it? If I wanted to track, from last one week, uh, if I am keep on seeing the person, customer coming to the DMART, I'll track it. What are the what are, what are the purchase he is doing? The person is doing it from the day one till date. So those are the transaction details. So CRM holds all the information related to the customer. Now coming to the Salesforce. In Salesforce. There are many industries using the Salesforce. Now it is started by the Mark Benny of, but right now there are so many customers we have. Now if you go to the customer success stories, the customer success stories, in this customer success stories, if you wanted to know that, what are the customers do we have? Just filter the stories by feature. That means it is going to show you the some more than 50,000 customers we will have it. So like this, it will go at the end. And 10,000 customers we have. Now, if you wanted to know by industry wise, now I'm mostly interested on the industry wise. You will know that by the industry wise, by clicking on this automotive, let's say that you wanted to know that who all are the companies using the automotive industry. Just click on this and then you will see, you will see Ford and Bench and like this is the Cruise and Alton. So these are the one which are automotive cloud they are using. So mostly automotive is used by the vehicle companies so where are the vehicle companies are there like toyota toyota is also using the salesforce and they are in the automotive cloud 
and zero. So these are the different companies who are using the automotive plot. Similarly, if you are interested to know the education, who all are using the education cloud. So in Salesforce, we have a education. So who all are using the education? So you can see here ASU Go and Life Q Life. So these are the companies who are using the education. Similarly, you can try to find out who are the retail customer, retail clients. Now for the retail clients, you can check these are the retail clients which are using the Salesforce. So industry wise, like we have so many industries. Automotive cloud, automotive cloud, business service, communication, consumer goods, education, financial service, government, healthcare and life service, professional service, manufacturing, insurance, media and entertainment, non-profit, retail, transportation, hospitality. These are the different industries are available in the Salesforce and if you wanted to know that based on the each industry now who are the companies are using like if you wanted to know based on the industry who are the companies now you can apply the jobs by looking at the if you are interested in automotive cloud now you can check this and find out the companies which are the companies using the automotive and also you can apply like who are the IT companies are supporting for this client so based on that, you can apply the jobs. So this is industries using in Salesforce. Now, let's see the Salesforce usage and what are the demands for the Salesforce. Now, Salesforce is used by the some 1,60,000 clients. Initially, it is started by just two members by Mark Benioff in 1999. Right now, the Salesforce application is used by the 1,60,000 clients. That's a huge work, workforce is required to work, work on the Salesforce project. So if you start working on it, at least 10 to 15 years, career guarantee is there with the Salesforce. So even right now also, if you get a job in Salesforce, I can guarantee you that next 10 to 15 years, at least 10 years, minimum 10 years, there is a career guarantee is there. So this is about the Salesforce introduction.